Okay guys, I, I know I already did a Caves and Cliffs video, but I just couldn't resist. I have to do another. I'm setting myself into spectator mode, and I'm going to check out the new Lush Caves. And, I mean, right now, things look pretty normal, but uh, things could get very interesting really fast. So, I don't see any water entrances into the cave, so we'll just have to go... Into the ground. Oh my! Like I said in my last Caves and Cliffs video, uh, seeing it in videos is one thing. Oh my goodness. And doing it. Oh my. What the? This is incredible. the heck? Look at this! Look at th this! Okay, this is not just me being stunned by the cave generation. I am stunned by the cave generation, too. But, it's so much ambience, and like... Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set myself back into creative. Look at this! Look at the. Okay, that's a little weird. That is a little weird. But... I can't believe what's going on here. Okay, look at this. The way the cave, like, goes around and has these, like, hanging... Lush caves are probably going to be my favorite caves now. I'm sorry, but it's probably going to be true. If you just look around, you can see... First of all, Deep Slate. That's kind of... that. That's not... Um, that's um, pretty cool, the, the, what they did with the Deep Slate. Anyway... But more than that, like, look at this huge open area. Were it not for that light in the distance, this would be such an immersive experience. And also to have these... It's incredible, Mojang, what you've done with this. You have breathed life into the caves. This is the cave update that everyone was waiting for. And Mojang really went above and beyond with this. Look, okay. Look at this. You have these like, little, I don't know, nooks and crannies and like, you know, just little places and you have the big open areas. I want to, okay, I want to build a cave base now because this is incredible. And I just can't resist. This is too, this is too good. I can't even think of where to start. Where would I build a cave base? Would I build it in this huge open area? With all of the... Okay, I have to say it again. It's beautiful. This is stunning. Minecraft's never looked this good. And it wasn't even because they added new blocks. It was because they ter changed the terrain generation. I'm so, so, so... Intrigued by this. And also, I am loving it. What's down here? Why is there a light source here? Is it maybe... I don't know. Is it the Sedalia bush? Oh no, it was the it was the um other thing. That makes sense. I, I just feel like Mojang have really breathed life into these these caves. They look like caves, and they're so much. They're going to be a lot of fun to explore. Especially okay. I've got to do this. I'm sorry, but I need to do this. Firework rocket and an Elytra. Because I want to know what it's like to actually be able to fly around, freaking fly around, in a cave. I'm... this is incredible. <laughs> uh, what? I never thought this would be possible. Like, look at these... Look at this. I can... <sighs> People are actually going to need to have an Elytra to fly around caves now. Like, before, caves were so cramped you didn't need an Elytra down there, and you were better off with a chest plate. But now I'm not so sure anymore. This is stunning. And it goes even further. I have no idea how to put this, but Mojang, you have done such an incredible job on this. There's so much, like... It feels amazing. Even with that in the background, which shouldn't be there, 
I think that's just because my computer isn't great. Um, and I can't turn the render distance up super high. But even with that, it's still so immersive. And gives you such like a an eerie yet welcoming feeling. I don't know how to put it. Anyway, uh, as I was saying before, it's kind of irresistible. I'm going to build a cave base here. And I will check back with you a little bit later. Anyway, this is Silver. Uh, this has been a really interesting episode, um, bleh, not episode, video for me to, for me to, um, show you guys, and, um, I will see you in the next one.